Top of the morning, you lot, and welcome back to ProStack Emerger 2020 for yet another video. And we are back for the final monument of the season before the Giro di Lombardia. We are in Belgium, in Liège, to be precise, for the start of Liège Bastogne Liège, the old lady la doyenne, the eldest classic in cycling's history. Um, and I'm, I'm chuffed for it. I'm chuffed. It's um, not the classic I enjoy the most, if I'm going to be honest. Um, but I'm just willing to see the madness that's going to happen with all of the riders we have in today's peloton. Uh, however, before we carry on, earlier today I uploaded the Liège Bastogne Liège women's race, um, and uh, I genuinely think it was one of like the best races I've had in in, um, in quite a long time on PCM, and it would mean a lot if you guys would uh, would go ahead and watch it. Um, it's something a bit different, but I feel like it is, um, well, it's jokes, not, not jokes, but it's a fun video, it's a very fun race, uh, and it was an actual pleasure discovering those, um, those, uh, well, this women's database, I guess. So, yeah, if you've got some free time on your hand, just feel free to, uh, to go and check it out. But in the meantime, we're here for the men's race of this Liège Best on Liège, and... I mean, there's one team I haven't picked this year. There is literally one team in the World Tour I, I have not picked since, since, sorry, the month of February. And God knows I wanted to pick them at a few times. But we're going to have to go for the current quick step. Julien Alaphilippe leads the team following his win, his dominant win, his unreal performance on La Flèche Wallonne, making it a hat trick for him. He's going to Liège Bastogne Liège, trying to um, avenge his finish from last year, where he definitely should have won or at least had the podium. Uh, but then he decided to push Marc Hershey and then he decided to celebrate too early. And so he took an L, then he got disqualified. But still, it's, it's, a, it's a madness. Joe Almeida will be here alongside Maori Van Sevenant, Mikel Frolech Honoré, Dries de Venance, James Knox, and Peter Seri for the seven men, seven men lineup sorry, of De Colon Quickstep, the Belgium team on their final home monument. What can they do? What can Julien do? I don't know. Only time will tell. See you in 254 kilometers. And we're on the way for the old lady. All right, all right, all right, all right. 255 kilometers. Um, still a very tough parkour though. Uh, with the Côte de Monosois, which will probably kick things off. We do have uh, La Côte de Roche en Ardennes. About 60 kilometers, um, or 70 kilometers, sorry, um, from where we currently start, but uh, I don't think it'll be too, um, too much of an issue as it is very much far from the end. Uh, but yeah, the final 80 kilometers will be an absolute shit show. And I mean, I've, I've had to take Julien, yeah? yeah? Oh, realistically, he's, a, he's, he's French, so am I. He's the world champion. I'm not. Um, he's, he's, he can climb the Mur de Huy in under 12 minutes. So we're, we're both good on that end, uh, as I can also do that. And I mean, yeah, I, was, I literally like I wrote a post, I had a post it, which I wrote, I believe in like February with all the teams for my, the April classics. And I've managed to stick true to all of them, meaning that since February, I knew I couldn't take the Conan quick step. And oh boy, did I want to take them when Mark Cavendish make, came his, uh, or made his comeback or when I was recording the Swarth Turkey, which I never uploaded, by the way, because it was a stinker. But still, I really wanted to take Cav. Um, but I stuck, stuck through to my word, only one World Tour team per video until I've made all the World Tour. Then we'll be able to, uh, to get some new rotations in. But yeah, do kind of quick step on this little Western Liège. We'll take a quick look at the start list though. I'm not sure it's needed because obviously I'm winning with Julien. Um, but we've got Marc Hergé here for the team Emirates um, alongside Pale Pogotar and Davide Formolo, uh, allowing, uh, allowed sorry, to compete uh, after the um, false negatives they've had on La Flèche, which kind of prevented them from, uh, from racing. Probably a bit of an L for UAE. Jakob Fulsang is here leading the team Astana as per usual for a uh, winner in 2019, I believe. Michal Kutkowski leads Ineos. Um, I'm pretty much certain Peders was doing it. I thought Peders was doing LBL. I might be wrong, but I thought he was. Uh, but we've got Adam Yates, uh, Gegenhardt, Dunbar, and Carapaz for this race. Tish Benut leads the SM, Benoît Cosnefroy leads Ajax uh, La Mondiale, he was my pick for, Liège, for La Flèche, kind of choked, but no need to uh, talk more about it. Bauke Mollemann leads Trek, Schachmann leads Boransgrohe, with once again 
Conrad and Ide Schelling for the um or Schelling for the um the supporting cast, I guess. Tight on holder from Struglitch leads for Yama Visma. No sense of Rob Van Art, Michael is for Israel Star Nation, Mohoric for Baron Victorious, and once again we'll have Dylan Tunes um on the, 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 the comeback, I guess. Well not on the comeback, but like as a secondary leader. Rudy Mollard and Godu to lead FDG Valverde, who will be getting his first his forty first birthday, sorry, on um on Sunday, leads Movistar. Tim Wellens and former winner in 2011 Philippe Gilbert are here. Geshka leads Kofidis with Guillaume Martin and Anthony Perez. Warren Bargill for Arkea. Michael Mathis for Back Exchange. Spudier for Coops. Latour for Direct Energy. Valgren for Education Nippo with Wita. Luke Vliegen for Intermarché. I think Vliegen got a decent position. No, oh, actually, wait, no. that was in my Laflash World and I don't know what Vliegen did on, um, on Laflash in real life. Zonder Moïse for Alphys and Phoenix. Kroziger for Gazprom. Valander for Bingo. And finally, Tomasz Pengers for Splar of London. We have a five-man breakaway at the front. We'll take a quick look. Julian Bernard, Panel Kangat, Simone Velasco, Fabio Aru, and Fabian Grolier are the five riders. Two minutes and ten seconds in the lead of a peloton. Definitely not paced by Mina. And we have a first withdrawal. Jack Haig, the victim of a crash, uh, forced to retire. I think he now fell with Simon Geschko as well. Uh, never a good thing for Kofidis to uh, see the, the, the rider fall. Yeah, I can't see the, 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 the rest of the riders that crashed. But Jack Haig, has withdrawn from the Bastion Edge very early on. I guess the man wanted to come back early. All right, we've started the um, first clan of the day. I wasn't paying attention. Sure, I put everyone on uh, on effort. That's Nell. Um, because I was actually ha having some beef with the mosquito. Um, <laughs> for the record, he won. But we will we, obviously. I'm a big man, you know, so <laughs> I, that don't affect me. But it's think is is he he stung me in it, and basically he's won. He's a dickhead. Still, we move. Right, it's not it's not a mosquito sting that's gonna prevent me or bite. Does a mosquito bite or sting me? Mm, good question. I don't know. I don't know. Do you get stung or bitten by a mosquito? Let me know in the comments. You know what? Let's have, let's have some uh, some discussion in the comments because I actually have no idea. But still, we move. Um, as I was saying, we've started the main climbs. Could do one now. Could do Tokyo coming up. Roglic already in prime position, right next to Tay Pugachar. He does not want to leave his man. Uh, he's like an obsessive girlfriend. We're trying to get back up with Ada Philippe being led by Driz de Venance, as per usual. Hopefully, things work out for me. Um, and yeah, if I lose, I blame the mosquito, I swear to God. And the rhythm is, man is mental. Nox was at the front of the group, and now he's like hella dropped. Um, I mean, okay. Sure, I've only got like three riders left. Again, it's it's entirely the fault of the of the mosquito. How is Mikel Frolichonore this far this far behind? He's with Ben Solit, who was a surprising um I think top fifteen on La Flèche. Uh, but yeah, very decent perf performance from uh from Ben Solit on uh on La Flèche Wallon. Didn't expect him to be there. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but it was it was nice to see for the Williams Martini legend. We're in the downhill portion though. We've got the Col du Rosé coming up. Uh, following the climb, we'll be able to recover. And that's like a crucial part. We need to recover because uh, we've lost a lot of energy and a lot of teammates. And those are both things I'm not really keen on losing again. All right. Alain Philippe powering his way through the peloton. Coming back at the front. Uh, I'm going to reduce his rhythm. Actually, wait. Am I reducing his rhythm right now? I don't know. I am, I am, I am. Uh, but yeah, we've got a, a couple of climbs coming up. The main one is in about 10 kilometers, Côte de la Redoute, obviously. Um, but right now we're recovering. Almeida and James Knox are trying to come back, but I don't think they'll be able to, uh, to do so. Julien, though, recovering nearly all of his energy, and that is absolutely ideal. Almeida will come back, but he has literally no help whatsoever, or no purpose, as the man is royally dead. All right, we've um, done the uh, Col de Côte de Denier, sorry. Julien at the front. Um, I believe the, the peloton is uh, suffering from um, a very severe case of stupiditis, which is where basically you're stupid. And I'm afraid uh, there's been no cure for about 2,000 years now. Um, so it really is like a, an illness a man cannot cure, which is a massive ill. Uh, there's no vaccine, there's no remedy, no treatment whatsoever. Um, 
But yeah, they keep on attacking as soon as there's hell and as soon as there's like nothing. They forget that they can use their pedals to go uh, at a specific rhythm or to try and increase said rhythm. Um, so, so yeah, like quite, a, quite dumb from them. Also, Maori von Sevenant su suffering from blockitis, uh, which is when you're being blocked by Hugo Hull and only by Hugo Hull. Uh, that, that only applies to the Canadian rider from Astana. Got the Laudu coming up this time. I'm not going to get dropped or anything. I'm the one setting the tempo and you, you lot aren't going to say anything. All right. Hugo Hull is now setting up the tempo. Forget what I just said. Realistically, I'm, I'm going to be Hugo Hull's bitch today. Fam, fam, fam. Calm down. Calm down. Hugo, man. Hugo, you're Canadian. You're meant to be nice to me. Why are you bullying me like this? What? Why? That's, that's not cool. Formula is attacked. Formula is stopped. We're gonna have a group of four with Formula, Hershey, and, and Roglic. I'm not very much a fan of this development, I can't lie to you. That doesn't, like, sound good to my ears. I'm gonna increase the rhythm because I'm expecting an attack here. Back in the day, there was a house here in PCM. On both sides of the road, there were houses. Has they been, like, destroyed or something? What's happened to the houses? That's what I want to know. That's, uh, yes. Please let me know where the houses have gone. Final 20 kilometers. Julien recovering energy. As one does. Maori Van Sevenant might be able to provide some help um, in the Col de Rochefaucon. But we've got 13 riders. I haven't had that many riders in this group um, for a long time, you know. It's been quite a while since I've had uh, 13 riders with 17k to go on LVL. Mm, that could be interesting because I'm gonna guess that all of the leaders are gonna have very decent stats right now. Or stats, I mean, very decent days. Acceleration from Matej Mohoric in the downhill portion. The man cannot super talk, but he's going for a move. Julien has seen it though, right? Julien, he's, he's wide eyes opened. His eyes are looking everywhere. He knows, he knows that you shall not let Matej Mohoric go. Two Slovenians, uh, wait, am I, am I chatting bollocks? Yeah, no, two Slovenians at the front. Kukowski in third place, Woods, Schachmann, Roglic. Julien's doing well though. Julien is holding on very, very nicely. There's Gunnar 99 on the summit to avoid being dropped by Tadej Pogacar. The winner of the Tour de France going for a, a monument here. Okay. There goes Michael. No, that's Schachmann actually. Have I got a gap? I do not. Uh, I'm gonna push on the, I'm gonna push 99 until the summit. Roglic is gone. Primus Roglic is gone. Guys, I need you to follow him. Primus Roglic is going for the back-to-back -back on LBL. Mohoric follows. Oh my god. Is it gonna be a 1-2 for Slovenia? Mark here, she has the strength to attack. Uh-huh. And we've got two others from UE. Obviously, they're not gonna pace. Ineos, man, I need you to do some work here. Realistically, Simon Yates or, or Ketko, I don't know, which one of the two, I need you to go and work. Julien is going to try and recover as much energy as possible. But Wine Bargill, sorry, is in very decent position as well. 5k to go. 5k to go. Acceleration from Schachmann. Wine Bargill is gone as well. Let's jump in the wheel of the Frenchman. We've got one hour, the 1, 2, 3 is France. Bargill, Ala Philippe, Godu. We're going to have like one kilometer of flat terrain, I believe. But Barguil is launched. Here's in my wheel. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. Can we overtake Barguil? There's a right hander. 500 minutes to go. Is Warren Barguil gonna win? No, he's not. It's a nail on the line for Warren. Julien Alaphilippe wins. I'm gonna need a closer replay. I'm gonna need to have VAR on that. But Julien Alaphilippe wins Le Bastonniège and adds the monument to his palmarès. Mark Hirschi joins him on the podium in third place. Mohoric, Roglic, Godu Pogacar, Woods, Schachmann, Valverde. Were Roglic and Mohoric the two strongest of the day? Most likely. That is very much likely. But I believe I was the smartest. Which is not something that happens often in this video game, I cannot lie. Or in life in, in general, I'm, I'm not exactly the, the smartest. But at least I can win on PCM. Can the Mosquito who nearly, like, who fucked me up earlier today win? I don't think he can. I don't even think he can press on this plus button right now. Stupid insect. Alright, let's get a closer look then on the replay. Here we have Warren Bargill, right, casually sprinting, learning from his best mate Nasser Boigny. 
We go on the right hand side of the road, right? For now, we're good. In this corner, he's got more speed than, than I do. Then I have the jump on him. Mm. Shit. Julio in the middle of Bargill, as per usual, right? As one does. I wish there was like a replay, like a function to um, go like times 025 or times 05. That would be like so nice. Uh, all right. So right now, right now, I believe I'm ahead. And Julien does win by like half a wheel, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, I'm not going to say it's, I mean, no, it is clear and obvious. It is a clear and obvious win for, uh, for Julien. Who didn't even celebrate before the line. I mean, how, how uncanny? How well, I mean, that's unexpected. Two Frenchies on the podium of a monument. What the fuck is this? How? Then we've got, I mean, three Frenchies in the, in the first group, three Slovenians in the first group, one Swissman. Uh, who was, wait, who was the top five last year? Alaf. Well, not, not in order, yeah, but. So, I mean, Roglic, Pogacar, Hershey, Matej Mohoric, and Alaf. Do we have the same top ten? Uh, like, the top five of last year is in this top seven. Added Gudrun Bargil. Okay. Warren, who was strong, uh, who looked strong this, um, this month of April, and could be a one to watch in uh, La Doyenne tomorrow in Niels Sorry, in two days, my bad. Um, but yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Didn't expect to win, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I guess LBL just becomes one of my favorite classics because, I mean, if you haven't, again, if you haven't seen the, the women's race, uh, then do go ahead and do so. And you'll understand why it's becoming one of my favorite races. And Julien winning here. I mean, the last time I played this was on YTC and I won with Monaco Snefroy. Yes. Liège Bastogne, Liège, more like Liège Black or Liège. I'll trade my list. Uh, don't do that before me. But I do hope you've enjoyed this video. This is where we're going to wrap it up. Um, if you did enjoy the video, then please do leave a like down below. That would mean a lot to me. Um, if you didn't like it, please also leave a dislike and let me know in the comments down below so that I uh, know what to improve. We're nearing on 2,000 subscribers and it would mean the world to me if you guys would, um, would subscribe to the channel. Uh, I mean, it's free. You just click on it if you like the content. Stay subscribed. If you're not, then uh, if you don't, then you feel free to, to unsub. Uh, although I will track you down and I will most like you most likely be extremely violent towards you. Um, but that shouldn't happen. Um, and yeah, I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to have another fight with another mosquito because it feels like it's a recurring theme in this video. And yeah, my name is Guillaume. I've been Blackworm. Have a wonderful end of your day. Enjoy Lies Bastogneg and I'll see you in the in the future. See ya. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop him out with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.